And of course, for a lot of men, they want to improve or increase their testosterone levels. Yeah. So, are there, <clears throat> is there some information or some um, new ones out there that you've debunked about increasing your testosterone? That's great. Um, I've done some stuff like, for example, there's this guy named Andrew Huberman who's telling people that he yeah. ate butter in order to increase his testosterone. He, he thought that the uh, dietary cholesterol in butter, because it's uh, his cholesterol is a precursor to uh, testosterone, the body changes cholesterol into testosterone. If you ate more cholesterol, then you are going to increase your testosterone. Well, that's not the case. <laughs> I mean, because even if you take a statin medication, for example, uh, and you reduce your cholesterol by 50%, which is what even a low dose statin will often do, uh, you'll only reduce your testosterone by like, I don't know, it's like two or 3%. It's like clinically insignificant amount. So your, your body's testosterone production doesn't depend on your blood cholesterol. The cholesterol is synthesized, is going to be synthesized within the testicles themselves. And the blood cholesterol has a, a negligible impact on how much testosterone your uh, testes are going to be producing. If you're interested in increasing your testosterone, increasing your blood cholesterol isn't the smartest way to do that anyway, because your blood cholesterol, um, especially in men, is going to impact your cardiovascular disease risk. And um, well, so the more cardiovascular disease that you have, uh, many things stop working, especially like sexual function, et cetera. So it, it, it can be end up being counterproductive if you take that approach and it doesn't work anyway. Uh, 